A nice thing for plugins to provide are a few simple commands so that users can a little bit more easily discover what the plugin provides. Uh, I like to do this if there's some workflow or some plugin where basically it provides one primary thing or maybe one or you know two or three where we can make it so that those workflows are super obvious for people and give them an easy uh, like command to land on so they know what to do and how to use it. Uh, so in this case, we've already made for our presentation plugin a plugin file where we get this and we call this on startup for NeoVim. And so what I would want to do is I would want to make a uh, create user command here and we'll do something like uh, present present start. And what are we going to do with this here? Well, we can look at create user command and it takes some name and then a command which could be a string or some function and then some options. For us, we're going to do this and then we don't have to pass any options for this right now. And this is actually going to be quite simple. The, the reason though, I do want to mention here, we're going to actually do the require inside of this here, which uh, present, and we're going to say start presentation with no options. The reason that I put the require in here, instead of doing something like local require and then put it, or uh, local present is this, is this effectively makes this lazy loaded. So if somebody is loading your plugin, uh, like on startup, but you don't want to pay the cost of actually loading all of the requires. If you put these inside of these function, this actually like this moment right here doesn't happen until someone calls present start. This is kind of like a nice way as a plugin author to not make your users have to think about lazy loading your plugin, but instead just like make it work by default in a good way. So if we do this, and we uh, then close this file and let's say we open up our readme again, we should now have present start. What's nice is this command is tab completable. So when we press tab on startup here, right, we see that we get present start. And when we press enter, it just works right away and is running out of the box. And we can actually sort of know for sure that uh, if we go, I think in dev, we want to remove this. Let's just not have anything get called when we start here. This still is here. This present start without loading our plugin present start like this. And um, when we do this, we can actually prove to ourselves that this isn't getting called until we run this by doing something like print uh, finally loaded uh, present. Okay. So this we'll notice doesn't get called when we first start NeoVim, right? We open NeoVim and it doesn't get called. But when we do, let's say we open up our readme file and we do present start, uh, you can't actually see it because we cover <laughs> we cover the spot. But if we load messages, we'll now see finally loaded present. Okay, so that's nice. I keep on mixing between saying present and present, but what, what can you do? Uh, but that's nice because you're sort of providing them the commands without actually paying the cost of loading the rest of your plugin. Uh, I know a lot of people like hyper fixate on startup and all this other stuff. It doesn't really matter, I think. But this is nice because it might take... 10, 50, 100 milliseconds to load your plugin. If it's really big, I hope it doesn't take 100 milliseconds to load your plugin. It might take 10 milliseconds or something, but you can completely skip all of that by just sort of inside of your plugin, only paying that cost once someone runs the command. So hopefully you like this. This I like this idea of providing some user commands this way and then uh, only loading them later in the startup process when someone actually uses them. So thanks. Hopefully you enjoyed the series. Bye. Oh, like and subscribe.